When I was a kid, my dad used to take me uh, catfishing at night. I'd sit on his lap or sit on the dock and he would point out the constellations and he would tell me the stories of the Greeks, you know. He passed away about five years ago and I guess when I'm doing nighttime photography, I still hear his voice telling me all the different stories. There's this windmill in Childress, which is just iconic. It's a beautiful, beautiful windmill. And I love to go out there and I take pictures. It's on a hill and you can see forever. And, and I sat long enough to where the sun went down and there was the Milky Way right behind this windmill. And it's like, man, I need a photograph of that. And so I um, took that first picture and I've been hooked ever since. I was somewhat of a purist before. I took the photograph and I might edit it a little bit, you know, change the contrast or change the hue or saturation or whatever, but I didn't do a whole lot of changing the photograph physically. Now, when I go out and take pictures, I'm really looking at elements of the sunset. So I might see an oil well or a cow or something like that, and I take a picture of that oil well or that cow knowing that I can incorporate it into a body of art or a piece of art that may not look anything at all like what I started off with. I see a photograph long before I take it. Uh, I actually have a sketchbook where I sketch out ideas that I want for my photography. And um, I'll see the picture in my head. And so I head off and I start looking for elements of that image that I'm trying to create. I think modern humans are kind of losing their spirit. We're so fragmented and so focused on technology and so focused on making money and paying bills. It's in the arts that we express our unconscious side, we express our emotional side, that our, our emotions come out. In my personal life, I was so focused on social work in the legal world that I had neglected that side of me. 